Welcome back to Sumster Games, the place to find new strategy games. And today I'm going to play a brand new DLC for Panzer Core 2, Spanish Civil War. Alright, so let's play a new campaign. We're going to be playing this Spanish Civil War. The Spanish Civil War has begun. Nationalist Spain calls for aid and Germany answers by sending in the Condor Legion. It is the perfect opportunity to test the newest weapon and tactics in real combat. We're going to be playing on the default difficulty and let us begin. Now this DLC is available on July 9th for anyone who bought the PC2 Martial Edition and July 16th for everybody else. This DLC is a part of the Axis Operation DLC series, which further expand the German Wehrmacht campaign and its allies. Now, as you saw, there was 1939 there as well. That's going to be a future DLC. Now, in this campaign, you can earn commendation points by completing bonus objectives. You begin this campaign with zero commendation points. That's all right. First of all, we got to come up with a name. So we're going to be called Samstra the Mighty. And we're gonna look like this. Now we can pick our strength and weaknesses. Now I have made a lot of videos for Pensacore 2. You can check them out if you like, especially like the first video kind of explain a lot of things about the games. So if you see Pensacore 2 for the first time, you might wanna check that first and then come back. Now weaknesses wise, usually I like to go for no overstrength, but this time I'm actually gonna play around with overstrength as we haven't really done that too much in our let's plays. I am however going to pick a green army. The reason why I really like this weakness is because I play very aggressively. So a lot of my units die. I'm never, I don't really like to play it safe. So uh, I don't really mind that I can do elite replacements because they're dead and I'm buying a new unit anyway. Also it gives us three point, which is really good. When it comes to strength, I definitely want anti-air veteran. Anti-air units inflict outright kills instead of suppression. It's quite good for us. And then I'm thinking, we are going to go for Master of Blitzkrieg. All tanks get plus one movement. That's really, really good. We still have two points left. So we're going to pick, I think, Liberator. I do like having a lot of prestige because I think that's quite nice. Alternatively, we could try to get Panzer General. That's probably, well, so that we can, or Infantry General, so we could get cheaper infantry units. We're going to stick to this. We could also pick some other things like ooh, delete reinforcements. Definitely don't want that. We're also going to pick bad luck. It's another one of my favorite because this is essentially, it's not giving you anything bad. It's just saying it can get better than you expect. And for that, we'll take the auxiliary force. It's always a good idea to be able to get more units. Even if you don't want to, like just the ability is quite good. So we're going, so we're doing Liberator, Master of Blitzkrieg, Auxiliary Force, Anti-Air Veteran, Green Army, and Bad Luck. Okay, let's do it. Abu Lieutenant Stefan Wagner reporting for duty. May I say it's an honor to meet you, General Samstad Mighty. I swear now to faithfully serve you and the Fatherland to any end. I have your orders, direct from Commander Sperle. Shall we begin? Of course, tell me what to do. You are undoubtedly aware our government has pledged to aid the Spanish nationalists in their uprising. Our deployment to Spain is to begin immediately, but there are some critical details I feel you must be made aware of. Because we don't want to undermine the legitimacy of the nationalists, we will not be deploying any German infantry forces to the Spanish conflict. Therefore, your battle group, Kampfgruppe Eidenachtig, or 88 in English, is to provide supporting roles to assist the main body of nationalist forces in their coup. You will be expected to work closely with our Spanish compatriots in the campaign ahead. Speaking of which, our first assignment is to safely escort them across the Strait of Tibral Tower. So our primary objective is to capture and hold Cadiz and Seville airfield. Our bonus objective is to capture and hold auxiliary airfield. Very easy, not a problem. Bonus objective, garrison five civil hexes with Army of Africa units. So I think that means that we have to grab our Army of Africa units, which we've got over here and over there, and place them on Sevilla hexes. I think. First off, we'll need to transport our own forces to Spain. Unfortunately, this will be easier said than done. The Republican battleship Jamie 1 
is on constant patrol, and submarine reports show she is on her way to interdict our operation as we speak. You will only have a limited opportunity to move your forces across the Strait of Gibraltar before the Republic and Naval blockade arrives. I wouldn't try to destroy the Jane One and her escorts either. Allied biplane bombers are woefully unprepared to deal with the battleship. We we'll just have to deal with her later. There should be enough time to transport two waves of units by naval support if we move quickly. Army of Africa units will most likely need to be airlifted as they are a bit behind our embarkation points. On the ground, our advance to Savi should, should be easy enough. After we have cleared any resistance around Savi, we should hold the city against any potential counterattack. We need to hold the city long enough to transport Franco's Army of Africa to Spain to ensure we have ample friendly infantry forces in our campaign to come. Good luck, my general. I will see you on the Spanish mainland shortly. To victory! For Germany! For Germany indeed. Alright, so. We have full set of units so we can't really buy anything else. We could, however, do overstrength. That's why I kind of picked it. We've got uh, 17 auxiliary sl slots and 24 of them are used. And we've got 7... Uh, Sea transport and four air transports. All right, so we could go into, for example, the tank here, and we could try to upgrade them. Uh, sorry, we could use the overstrength here. We could, we can only really do this upgrade because anything else would take more points that we just do not have. But we could upgrade them from 10 to 11, which cost us only 11 prestige, and we would have. 11 points instead of 7. Yeah, I say 11 a lot over here, but you get it. I think we do that. I think I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it um, probably not on everything, probably just on the tanks. Like, we don't want to go crazy. Oh, I should have checked, though. Is the tank a core unit or auxiliary unit? All right, so I'll be honest with you. I kind of forgot how to tell if a unit is auxiliary or not. So if you know that, let me know in the comments. But in this particular scenario, it's actually quite simple because all of these that belong to the Army of Africa are part of the F faction and they are those auxiliary units. So it's like eight times three, which is 24, which is exactly the auxiliary units we've got over here. So it is beneficial to use the overstrength on the tanks because we'll get to keep the tanks after this. Auxiliary units do not go with you to the next mission. So you don't want to waste upgrading them or using elite replacements on them and things like that because they will be gone anyway. Uh, so let me just do some of these upgrades fairly quickly and we're just gonna come back when I've done that, okay? I'm essentially doing overstrength on everything if I can keep the same amount of space. Ooh, on artillery, we could actually do this. On artillery, we could actually do this to a pretty high number. Yeah, let's do that. All right, so I've added the overstrength whenever I could and I think we're done with the deployment phase. So let us begin. Now, I'm just going to have some of these things kind of go away so we can see it a bit better. I'm going to keep this unit stat here, as so that's what you usually guys seem to like last time. The mission overview, I'll go on, we'll keep it. We'll keep it, it's fine. All right, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to move these guys upwards so that we can be ready to transport them when we want to, which is going to be later. Then these Army of Africa forces are also going to move forward. I'm going to be using the Forced March so that they can move as far as possible. So this is like the simple thing, we're just going to move ahead. Now we only have two turns to move our units forward to the opposite side before the enemy comes. So first thing I'd like to do is I'd like to move ahead with my planes and kind of see what we've got around here. All right, so we've got a horse transport and two infantry. So we've got 11th militia and 10th militia. Okay, well, let's start by shooting this uh, horse transport. Bye-bye, no more horses for you. And, uh, ooh, zero 03 over here, that's a pretty nice damage. Yeah, let's do that, go on. They don't seem to have any anti-air thing here just yet, which is great for us. You can do zero 03, how about you? You can do zero 02. I'll do the zero 03, go on. Got this tactical bomber here. Nice. Now, let me move ahead with my other planes, let's say above Cadiz. Ooh. So they've got a plane themselves, they've got 57. L15 fighter. Now we we can hit them up though with what we've got here. So never mind. We didn't know what they would have there, so it was worth a shot. 
But this can't hit them either. This can only hit the recon. Is there anything else I could move there to attack them? Yes, two, two. Well, that is not ideal if you're being honest. You know, we'll do the two, two anyway. I told you I play aggressively. And we'll play this here and we'll get at least one, two. So it's slightly better odds on this side. And it doesn't have much HP left, so we should be all right. And we'll move this 1-1. One, one. Mm, because they have this anti-air thing there, I believe. Where is this? This is a recon. Um, I mean, yeah, go on, let's do it. Yeah, they do get a death shot at us, but I think it's fine. Ooh, five suppression is a lot. Regardless, now we're gonna move our tanks, we're gonna embark them, and we're gonna move. I think we're gonna move like this because we can disembark over there. And it's much faster than trying to move here towards these ports. So we're just gonna go try to go as quickly as possible as far as we can. Let's move with some of these. Embark, keep moving this side as well. Because we only have two turns to move. Everything else we're gonna have to move by plane. So everything has to be able to step in that position. We could actually move, actually, we, I don't think, the problem is moving things by plane is that, for example, these things, you can move them by plane, right? Obviously, so this can only be done with like light infantry and things like that. I don't think you can move artillery like um, as, um, as a plane, I don't think that's gonna work for you. You could try it, but I seriously doubt it. I think that's only for um, for infantry. All right, we're gonna end our turn. Let them hit us a little bit. Not much we can do there. Yeah, they're choosing to hit at this plane. That's that's okay. It doesn't really matter. It's only have one anti-air thing, so I'm not too worried about it. They're running away like cowards. All right, we gotta destroy that though. All right, so let's start moving out, start disembarking. So what is this? This is a recon, sure. We can come around. Could, for example, grab this area. I think I'd like that. It allows us to see a little bit, get a little bit of a prestige point. What is this? This is a tank. All right, let's disembark it over here. We won't be able to attack, but we could move. And I think we might we might want to move like this and try to get some artillery there. The thing is, I don't know if that artillery can get that close. Got anti-tank, but that's not artillery. Regardless, let's disembark it here. We've got... Well, let's move it over there. Do we even have any artillery here already? I'm not quite sure, honestly. Let's place some tanks all over the place. Yeah, this is artillery. Good. If I could get you here you could move there though and then we'll move the tanks around this because this is artillery against weak units yeah, this should work i think against recon as well now here we're gonna move like actually maybe this was not the best decision let's move over here you can only disembark here so this one will be kind of out in the open unless do we want to fall back Now, if they hit that thing, we'll just take it. Just take it. Now, where could we attack with our planes? Well, we can't really attack anywhere with this plane, so let's just pick another one. One, 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 two on their enemy plane is not half bad. Zero, one on this unit, that's not overly strong. So we've got, we've got one, two. Could we get anything better with some of our other planes? I don't think so. Ooh, but we could do zero two with this other plane, so let's do that here. And now we'll do the we'll do the one two because that seems to be the only good thing we've gotten. So we'll stick to it. Would like to hit this artillery if I could. This anti-air unit, sorry, not artillery. One one though is one one worth our time? That's my question. I, I guess it is. I guess let's do it. We gotta get it down. We'll try it. Uh, 
don't seem to get a shot of anything useful. We could step over here. We could change the base to this, but we can't do it just yet because we aren't controlling any area over there. All right, zero one one on their plane here. Let's do that. Definitely useful. All right, their thing is almost dead. And finally, we could have started with my last fighter. Yep. And we'll grab this tactical bomber and... Well, there's really nothing to do with it. So we'll just stand above some of our units, just kind of to protect it. All right, now let's embark and let's keep going with all of our artilleries. Now this one, you see, it cannot change into... It cannot be transported by plane. So I showed you that. So now you believe me. I mean, is it, is it, believe me, if I showed you a proof? That is a belief if you've been shown. You don't need to have faith. All right, let's keep moving these guys around. Did I not use force much with these guys? I don't know. Well, either way, with the rest of you, just go ahead. Oh, it's just not really increasing anything already, right, so let's just not do it. Let's keep moving the normal way. You need to go in and embark as well, like that. All right, all right, you're good. You can end our turn. They're running. Over to turn, Wagner. Mein General, the Jane Lan and her escorts have arrived of the cult. We must transfer the Army of Africa by air with 252s from now on. Now remember, with tanks, you can get overrun if you manage to finish off an enemy unit, let's say. So this is something we definitely want to use. Ooh, 2-5 and we only get suppression. That is pretty epic, guys. But we should probably start off by shooting with our artilleries. Let's move a step closer, shoot this thing. Now it's a zero three. I'm trying to figure out a good way that we could get that overrun bonus on our tanks, if possible. This is um, anti-tank. I don't think you can get close enough though to do anything overly great. Yeah. Nope. Never mind. So let's let's grab a recon. We'll move here, do a zero three, and then we'll try to take a step away somewhere so that our tanks could go into the position. So like so. Now we're gonna do we could do zero well, let's go here, do a zero three on this enemy unit. And I'm oh there anyway. I was kinda hoping I could move in there with this thing and get that overrun bonus. We can't quite do that. We could try with the recon though. Let's do it. Let's hit them for zero two. They're running again. We get one six. Well, and we only get suppressed, which is kind of epic. I'm gonna be moving with my recon on this airfield because this will allow me to rebase my um, my airplanes, and that is great because then we can make sure that they're always in a good position up here in the front, which is what we need. Now you haven't done anything. One one or three three. So let's start with our planes. First, actually no, we should we should we should embark disembark first because we got to make sure that we are not standing in the water or that we're not on the edge because the enemy ships they can shoot to us if you're at the edge. So we definitely want to move kind of like further ahead there. You disembark here and move a little bit further from the edge. You have to stay on the edge, unfortunately. You as well. Oh. It is what actually we could move that way and this could move up there i guess the three three is an option oh no i moved this was a mistake i shouldn't have moved here but it's it is we, we could click back but we're not gonna do it we're, not gonna do it. we're just gonna take it made a mistake and we'll live with it all right so this this plane can't do anything so we're just gonna rebase it to, to here so we can get it ready you can give me a zero two over here. Do it, please. You get a bonus because we're next to recon. You can do nothing. So again, just rebase yourself to the other airport. Same for you, I believe. Keep going. You could get a shot at Ooh, we get two suppression, but we get we destroy one of theirs, so that seems useful to me. 
Yeah, we want to get that untie everything down as much as we can. One, one here. Yeah, go on. That seems good as well. Any more planes? One more plane. Can do nothing with this plane, so just rebase it. Now, finally, we should start to be able. Ah, uh, we just can't get there though. Well, we'll get close then. And we're, we're going to be near the edge, which is not ideal. The forced march, sure, we'll risk it. We might need these guys to go. Actually, if we go f fully to the left, we might be fine. If I use a forced march, I'm just going to try to move a little bit off the road. Like so. Because I'm worried if we're going to stand on the edge, they're just going to hit us there. All right, end the turn. I think we're ready. Ah, I forgot to move with that tank, right? Because I, I wasn't couldn't decide what to do with him, and then I just kind of forgot. Apologize for that. You know, it's we make mistakes sometimes. It's all good. Um, recon could hit it and then move forward, so we could see, like, what's where. Oh, we've got some enemies there, but nothing too crazy. I would like to finish this ooh, three one there on the thing. 0-5 with my tank over here. Let's do that first. We could probably finish it with this tank. Sure, go on. We will get that over on. Yeah, we did. And now we could do 0-1 over this thing here in Cadiz. So we definitely want to do that. Now our airplanes could get 0-1 here. That's not great. But we could get 0-1 on there. Now this is artillery. We're gonna have to fight against that quite strongly. See, when these are all like not great odds, considering that this is like doing nothing. I think we'll move here with the tank and just try to hit it, get it to be destroyed. Move this goal. So we'll, we'll encircle it. We don't really need to, but it's better than nothing. Zero one. We could get zero one on their artilleries. Ooh, but we're gonna get hit by the anti air over there. This was, a, this was an expensive deal. I don't like it. This is a f tactical bomber. Hmm. I, don't, I don't know what to do with that yet. Recon could give me terrible shots on that. We could hit this pretty well. So let's do it. And... This anti tank. We just move this ahead. There's not much to do with this. This is anti aircraft, so we'll try to move it forward and they in case they try to hit our tanks. This is anti tank as well. We'll just move it forward again. You move. You move this way. Get ready to hit the enemy over there. It seems like a good thing. Here we're gonna try to protect ourselves a little bit with these anti air things, and we will. Yeah. One one. Yeah, I'll take I'll take the one one. I think we will get hit by the anti-air thing there, but right. let's move ahead. See how many more anti-air things they've got. None. Just this one. Okay, okay. That's that's easily handleable. Nothing too crazy for us. Now we want to move some of these to the next air base because they're going to be useless if they're just here. Yeah. If I upgrade, if I replace you first, can I still move you? I don't think so. I don't think so, right? I think you have to the reversing cost it. All right, so we're gonna move in here. We're gonna embark, and we're gonna fly over. Somewhere where we're protected, like over there. Could also probably try to go onto the road there to help ourselves out. Because we are quite weak in this particular form, but we be able to shoot at us. Hopefully, ooh, we've got, they got these ships here. That's rough. Embark. Fly over there. You with the forced march, you can get in there. Good. Embark to there. And you guys, you can also do that. You can't embark yet though. Alright, so the rest of you just move. It's 
gonna take you a while, but it's gonna be okay. Like so. All right. I've got a lot of turns left, so I'm not too worried. Oof, this thing in horse trap is getting hit hard. Okay, we're gonna do some elite replacements after. But that was the only thing that I got hit, so I'm not too, too upset about it. Yeah, recon just got suppressed. Nothing. Nothing to think about. 2-2. Two, two. And we only get suppressed. Yup. Let's do this. Dang. We should probably move the recon away in case you want to move closer with other things. We could get one kill or just suppressions. Guess we'll do the kill there. They will hit us back. Ooh, one, two, one, two here is not bad. Let's do it. One, 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 two there. One, three over here. Zero, two is not going to be enough for a kill. Makes me a little sad. But we'll shoot it with this tank over here. And then we'll move forward. Actually, we should move this forward. If I move you forward, I could get suppression on their infantry or on this. If I hit this and I move my tank, I should get that overrun, I think. No. Unfortunately, no. I will move our recon. Now the thing is, we could go here, but I think it's better if we move like this. We should be able to take that extra step. Yeah, and now we can do 0-4 on this, um, what is it again? Un artillery, yeah. Artillery. Gotta hit them where it counts. This anti-aircraft, good. We'll move it. Are you in an anti- Yeah, we'll move it here to protect our planes, I think. You are what? You are anti-artillery. Um, we have a tank. Yeah, we've got a tank that could move there. So we'll move the artillery kind of behind the tank. And we'll try to get a couple more hits on the enemies. 1-1 one, one on their anti-air. You know what? Let's get 0-2 here first. So we can destroy one of their things. We could probably destroy this one as well fully. Yeah, that's probably better use of our stuff. This is, this is an, this is mine, okay? I wasn't sure. Is it mine? Yeah. We could hit, oh, I, I, I'm, I oh, sorry. I am on this Army of Africa unit, so we're gonna have to go to this airfield, disembark, and then we're gonna move them just forward. And we're gonna do it with most of these planes that we've got over here. So you move in there, disembark, Move forward, move in there, disembark, move forward. Right. Uh, grab some you, you as well, disembark, move this way maybe. All right, what we've got? One, 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 one. I oh. think we want to hit that anti-air thing here. Because it's like the odds are the same for everything, so. Alternatively, anywhere else we could go. Zero, one on this. Oh, we could hit these planes though. Let's fly over here and do one, two on one of these planes. And then. You're a tactical bomber, you can't do anything there. Okay. You. I can't do anything anywhere, honestly. Kind of rubbish. Okay. You, well, I don't know. Just stand above my anti-air thing, I guess. That could make you useful. One, one here. One, one, two. One, two here. Yeah, let's, let's get one, two over here. I want to make sure that they can't hit us too hard. And this final plane. One, 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 one. We could destroy their plane, I think. From this position, possibly? Not quite, not quite there. Maybe if we didn't have the bad luck weakness, maybe then. 
but the way it is, not so much. Now this untied tank, I guess we'll move it behind these two tanks so that we can get protected in case they choose to fight us. How are we doing over here? Yeah, you need to embark and go. I should have flown straight onto the airfield if I could have, that would have been cool. Yeah, let's do that. Can you immediately disembark on the same turn? No, okay. It was worth, worth, it, worth the test, I think. We could get there, but not quite there. I think we're gonna go... Ooh, let's go like this. I'm too, too afraid of them just like... Decimating me if I go straight through. So we'll just do it like this. And I actually think this is a good time to end the first episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, write down in the comments. I can click on the right to watch the next one. I'll see you there. Bye guys.